Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get.
I don't give a rat's ass about it. Still my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last chair stop. You can burn these tires off after 10 laps. You decide otherwise. I'll be down by the pack. And these drivers know it. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. There is still plenty of time left, folks, and anything can happen. be the first time during these races. Remember two years ago when that driver from the state group got touched with the car? John, it's Grace. You, you're the junior slipper and you got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it. Got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pit stop, and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, can get into position. Grab your preferred tool and Let's do this. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Down. Next up, Robert Knox. Meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. Just gotta pick up the documents from my back.
Robert Knox eats here. Really? I had no idea it was that good. Oh, it's good. It's real good. I mean, I get cravings if I don't come down here to eat once or twice per week. At one point, when I worked near here, I ate lunch here every day. But Robert Knox? He's like a big shot billionaire. It's true. I was standing in line behind him yesterday. He talked about how he loves this place to death. It seems Robert Knox paid several visits to a Bayside area food stand yesterday. The vendor, known as Florida Man, sells extremely addictive food, so we should expect Knox to return. Maybe this is a way to catch Knox away from his office. Yo, M. It's me. Look, I need the crystal, I. Right? Well, I can't very well cook without it, can I now? Dressed as what? Speak up, woman. Well, then tell him to shut up. Shut up, Buster! We're talking here! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. He's dressed as a food vendor. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. So he's gonna bring me the stuff? Christ, woman, it's only sugar, all right? Sugar! I'm not much help here.
good show, 47. Now stick around. Once the word spreads, Knox is. won't be long. 47, Robert Knox is on the move. If I'm not mistaken, he's headed... My pleasure. Who wants a taste? You? Go ahead. Hey, hey! Thanks so much. Anytime. Pardon me. Can I offer you a little treat? Oh, my. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. It's made just for you. Excuse me. You should try this. Rush of dopamine. It really is to die for. So, what's good? Everything's to die for, Mr. Knox. Excellent. Maybe one of these. Hmm, that was superb, my good man. Get out of my way, damn it! Hmm? Huh? Okay. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. 
I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 